When making up a list of potential presents for a loved one, a luxury perfume is often on the short list. So what is it about a scent that has such emotional resonance? Joining us now to discuss the finer points of luxury perfume is Emmanuel Sojé, CEO and co-founder of International Cosmetics and Perfumes, the North American distributor for the House of Creed. Welcome, Emmanuel. Thank you so much. I'm Thanks glad to be here. for being here. The House of Creed has such an interesting history. Tell us about your royal connection. Sure. Um, I wouldn't know where to start, but let's start somewhere. Um, the House of Creed was founded over 255 years ago. That is truly phenomenal and so different as a point of, uh, point of difference for our brands. So in the last 255 years, we were lucky enough uh, to make fragrances for um, empresses, kings and queens, royalties, all the way up to the common person. Uh, and uh, we have now a collection of 50 plus fragrances that are marketed in North America. And the latest one is called Aventus for Her. Which we can't <laughs> wait to discuss. I, I'm just curious though, did you start out at, because you were working with royalty a, a, as a, a custom personalized perfume maker? Yes, you, you, you nailed it right there. Our first uh, client was uh, King George III where in 1781 he approached the House of Creed and asked for commissioned fragrance. Therefore, uh, royal English leather was born that year and became his favorite fragrances. But taking us uh, 200 plus years later today, we now have the most anticipated fragrance in our history of 255 years, and that is Aventus for Her. Yes, you have the... Uh, it's uh, three years in the making, and we recently introduced it exclusively at Bergdorf Goodman and even Marcus for one year exclusive. And this fragrance really is probably one of our most exquisite creation uh, for so many ways. Uh, well, you say three years in the making. Can you, yes. can you be detailed about course, what goes into creating a uh, fragrance like this? First and foremost, the main objective is luxury. Mm -hmm. And in order to get there, we focus on outstanding uh, craftsmanship. Uh, our heritage speaks for itself, I already um, mentioned that, but the craftsmanship that goes into this fragrance from an artisanal point of view is quite different. Uh, to enlighten you further, we use an ancient technique called uh, the infusion technique, which is um, 200 years old, and that is where the essences are filtered, macerated, and, and, and end up as a finished product. This technique, no one uses. We're the only one in the industry to still use an ancient technique of that. All of the ingredients that go into any of our fragrances are personally handpicked by our two master perfumers, Olivier Creed and his son, Erwin, where they spend most of the time dealing and finding the most exquisite aromas, mostly natural. And what would those be? I mean, I know you can't tell us exactly because I'm sure it's a secret, but what are some of the ingredients that are in the formula? Uh, we, this is a, a fruity fresh fragrance by definition. Uh, the inspiration um, is really about empowering women in general. And the fragrance was very much inspired by powerful women going back in history from empresses uh, and, and uh, leaders of, of organization all the way down to the very modern woman. Um, it is a scent that unrivals anyone that we've done better b before. Is it based and on its brother, you it, say, uh, correct? The, which is the best-selling male uh, men's fragrance? This is, is right? um, our best-selling fragrances and the best-selling fragrances at Neiman Marcus currently. Ah, okay. Uh, and Aventus has been around for four plus years and has become our number one seller. Can I ask you something of though? Course. Because I know there's been a trend towards androgynous sets, sure. scents. Did you find that women were buying this one as well? We have some customers, of course. Yeah. Um, you know, mo most importantly, though, just to go back to your original question, um, rarity, craftsmanship, um, and the selection of the best ingredients are right. really at play mm -hmm. and is at the forefront of what we do. Uh, in terms of distribution, Aventus for Her is only available in 40 plus stores nationwide. So you can see we are pushing the luxury to its limit. You are keeping it. You are keeping it very exclusive very because exclusive. you are. You have a, a very illustrious history, but it's a small. You're a small sort of niche uh, brand. So how do you compete then when every label has a scent, sure. every sure. designer label out there? Right. Um, it's becoming ever so complicated and at times difficult uh, to gain market shares. But uh, in the last ten or twelve years of our businesses and in, in, in involvement with Creed, we uh, have become. Um, 
pretty much the market leader right. for high-end luxury fragrances in North America. Well, I'm just dying to, to smell this, yeah, please, this exquisite please. creation. If you don't uh, mind, may I uh, take a smell? You can. Oh, uh, may I try yes, just course, a, a of bit? Course, of course. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's absolutely exquisite. Delightful. Wow. Beautiful. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Emmanuel, for coming and telling us about it. Uh, anytime. Thank, thank you. So you. Much. I can tell my husband, here's a Christmas <laughs> present idea, right? Thank you so much.